Hey there LEGO fans, welcome to the new video and in this video we're going to be doing something really different um, which is restoring this old set I think it was race um, for the hidden treasure uh, set 6022 from LEGO Indiana Jones and it's been like this for ages I haven't really managed to um, fix it up I've always taken pieces off from the back as you can see it's different to the original, which I'll be putting the photo on right now. So just try to compare it. Of course, there's a bunch of changes that I've done in it and I want to bring, restore it to the old um, version of it. Plus uh, cleaning it as well, because as you can see, there's a lot of dust on it because I haven't been using it for ages and I haven't done anything to it for ages either. Um, so it's stuck like this, literally um, dirty and stuff. So. What I've got is, I've got this, um, I've got a toothbrush uh, to brush off all of the dust on it. And I've got a box to put the dust in, so let me just do that real quick and I'll sh uh, show you guys the clean version of it. Alright, so I managed to clean it a little bit. Of course, there's some parts that I couldn't get into, but I will be doing a detailed cleaning for it later. And I took off the pieces, uh, it wasn't meant to take this one off. But I took off the pieces that were not even part of the set, which are um, these pieces right here. I took them off, but I took this one off as well because that has to be put on later. And I downloaded the instructions because I don't know where the instructions of this is because I bought this like years ago. And I downloaded it onto my old phone. Um, yeah, it's quite dead, isn't it? Like... <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so I downloaded it onto this, and let's go down to the part where we need it, which is around, um, oops, I think, yeah, we need it around here for the lights. So on the instructions, um, what we have missing is the lights in front. So we need to get, um, I need to find the light pieces, wait a minute. All right, so we need to get these clip pieces these ones uh two of them for the front lights i don't we don't need any for the back so what we're going to do is we're just going to put white lights in it because that's what it uses and we stick it right onto here onto this part which is right here that looks quite good and then we stick this one right on here it already looks a bit better anyway and then we continue on down and we have to look at the piece of, um, oh, wait a minute. Take a look at this. Uh, we have to take a look at this part right here, the windshield. And I think, yeah, yeah, I think I know what we've got missing now, which is a four, two, um, a one by four light gray brick, which we need to find. So I'm going to find that real quick. Six and a half hours later. Alright, so I found the piece that I need. Um, which was really hard. It literally took me like five or ten minutes just to find it. Um, but anyway, we found it. That's what's important. And we just have to place it right about here. And then, we've already got all these parts done. So we don't need to do anything there. And we continue on to the back bit, which is right here. And we have to add these pieces, which I will be showing one sec, guys. We just have to add these guys right here. We need to take two of these blocks and we put it right to the side, right here, right about here. And one fun fact I could tell you guys is that this, this car right here, well, except for the pieces like here, but the bottom parts and stuff of it, of course, is probably one of the oldest Lego sets that I haven't taken apart. I mean, not probably, actually, I think it's definitely... I mean, because most of them have been taken apart in one part, one point in time, <laughs> basically. Um, but for some reason, I've never taken this one apart, which I actually am quite happy about. Um, anyway, we need to add a jumper plate right here. Just push it down right there. That looks nice, and we need to take this, it's like a rail piece, I don't know what these are called. So if you know it, just tell me, and we just place it right here. And we place one of these silver 
small pebble. They look like pebbles, so I'm going to call them a pebble. And just put it right here. Alright, and then we continue on with these pieces, which is um, a two by one. A sand, sand color brick. So we just put that right there. And let me just push this back so you can see it a bit more. And we're going to add one of these modified um, pieces. I don't know what these are called either, so just come and add them right here. Onto the sides and above them, now we have to add the windows. But on the win windows itself, it shows it as these, um, we're adding these type of windows, by the way. It says that it's those windows that are um, dark color instead of these light color ones. These are light colors, as you can see. It says dark colored ones, but I don't have any dark colors in none of my builds or none of my um, inventory or anything like that. So this could, I mean, this could be printed wrong, probably. That's what I'm thinking. And that's it, basically. Yeah, it's probably print printed wrong. And last, wow, I can't believe we're, we're already done. Yeah, need to add one of these silver colored pebbles right on the end again. And I think that's that's it. We've got the wheels and stuff, everything else is okay. And this is actually pretty good. I mean, it's looking brand new. Of course, some colors have um, faded on it, but not really much that we can do about that or say about that anyway, but I think it looks quite good. I mean, seriously, it's t tidied up so much. Of course, there was a gun on here, but I'm not gonna be adding a gun. I don't need a gun in my city, so. I probably don't need this, but it just could be a Jeep, a general Jeep. But I'm going to leave it on here because it, it'll look cool. Um, but anyway, I really like it. This set has always been cool. But on the set, it actually says to have the wheels the other way around. So like this, basically. So I think I'm going to do that. So it'll look a bit cooler. And I'm scared to break something because these pieces are so old and they haven't been um, taken out from its place for ages. I don't know really if it could cause any damage or problems with it. And I really like this wheel at the back. Um, it looks quite nice. Oop, why is it like that? No, I couldn't put it in properly. All right. Looks quite cool. Let's focus the camera on it. So this guy, this car, and this guy is the most oldest. Um, things in my city. So this car is the oldest and this guy is the oldest because he came out from one of those lollipop things and he's the first ever um, minifigure that I had, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, could I just focus? Yeah. And he's part of World C, the trains, because uh, you can see he's got that, um, he's got the city, one sec, he's got the city transport sign, which most of the trains and stuff have. He's of course fading a little bit, his colors and stuff, but I'm trying to protect him as much as I can. So I'm not damaging him, not tossing him around or anything like that. Anyway, uh, that was it for this video, guys. It was really fun to rebuild this guy because I've always wanted to. And just this morning, I just woke up and I said I should build, rebuild him again. And so I did. And I wanted to take a video as well and share it with you guys. So thank you for watching, guys, and take care.